Yo, what is up, everybody? Rex and Gelati here. And today, we have, um, we have returned with part two, or episode two, I guess. And, um, I caught some things. One thing that I caught off screen was a behem. The other thing I caught was a pine coat. I forgot to nickname the behem, but whatever. Um, and so I did, I did, I did some grinding. You know, I did some training. All of those things. And... Yeah, I, I'm gonna show you how long I've been playing because that's crazy to be have not even left the first route and to be a, have been playing that long. So yeah, I've been playing for an hour and forty minutes. So that's a thing. I do still have Shedinja, but I decided to put it in the uh, in the box because that's where it belongs. Because um, I was talking with my friends and this is a collaborative, um, competitive type deal. Uh, which I don't think I got across on the first episode because I did have to edit up about 20 minutes of it. It's still it's still a good episode though. I mean, I would still recommend that you watch it. And if you didn't watch that, I don't know how you watch this anyway. We had Shedinja just right here, just chilling. And so pretty much a lot of people have a lot of counters in Shedinja. Like one one of the people that are also playing has a lover tar so it's going to evolve into a t tar so they're going to have sand stream so there's no use having shit ninja so yeah i just decided not to use it but nothing personal against your ninja it's just that it didn't it just couldn't doesn't deserve a spot on my team but um i don't know if i actually said this last episode like as i said because it did get cut a lot but this let's play is a collaborative type deal and after a certain amount of checkpoints, after each checkpoint that we've set up, we're going to battle. And so, it's you kind of want to make sure that you have a good team and stuff. So that's why I'm not keeping shooting. Even though it's amazing in game, I just use it to help me catch things because not a lot of stuff can touch it. So, and then since it's so low level, it can whittle stuff down. But there's a lot of stuff in this grass. Like there's a lot of cool things in this grass. Like there, there's Muse here. There's Shedinjas. There's Fortress. There's Shuckle that I couldn't catch. There's Dusk Noir. It's just a lot of cool stuff here. But unfortunately, none of it can be caught. So, anyway, let's just continue on. Today, we're probably going to go up to Flossessi Ranch and then see. So, because I pretty much was just training on this route right here. That's, that's all I did was just trained on this route because I couldn't go any further because I needed to record. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to go ahead without anyone watching. Like, I mean, catching stuff off screen and leveling up. No one wants to see that. So I didn't record that. But facing trainers and stuff, everyone wants to see that. The stuff that people would like to see. But yeah, we're just gonna take on this dusk noir. And I think that um, I think I'm gonna fast forward the battles just because to make it quicker. And as you can tell, this is quite. This does go quite slow. And I have no control over that whatsoever. So, let me make sure I have the sound on, though. Because I'm, I'm not hearing any music. Let me hear the music. Alright, I got the sound on. The music sounds terrible because my computer is slow. And it can't, like, handle recording. And keeping the emulator running at a good speed. But, hey, whatever. Which is why my episodes are going to be a little bit longer than most, than everyone else's, just because my computer is bad. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the sound off. I'm gonna turn the sound off just because it wasn't worth it. Cause it's not like it sounds good, so there's no point in having it. Yeah, there goes Dustin Moore out of the way. Get 136 experience, and Behem is becoming a threat, implying that it wasn't already a threat. But hey, so we can just continue on talk not talk to this girl get this item um i'm not gonna talk to him he's just gonna jump down the ledge and be stranded and i'd rather i'd rather not do that to him and i don't remember what she says i don't even care you there trainer uh hi fiery hair man i'm alder i'm a trainer with a keen interest in the world one of my goals is to tell people about how wonderful it is to walk around the future together with pokemon and i can jump off with tall rocks like you can jump off of ledges but i can jump off of mountains <laughs> And you are? Hmm. So you're Rexiana from Asperger City. Yeah, apparently. And then you're just gonna check me out, look at my ass, all that all that good stuff. Your behem is a fine looking Pokemon. 
but you're not exactly a seasoned trainer yet. Indeed, I'll train you a little. Follow me. I shouldn't have picked a girl character, because now every time someone says something, it's gonna, I'm gonna take it sexually, and I'm gonna fire, want to file a sexual harassment charge. I'm gonna heal up though. All right, so I'm back, and uh, it turns out that Pokemon Mart still has absolutely nothing useful. But let me address this now. My neighbors are playing music, so if you can hear it, then uh, yeah, there's that. Right now they're playing Usher, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, that's right, Rexiana. Your Pokemon are always doing their best for you, the trainer. So you must always be kind to them. My house is just a little further. Stop by the Pokemon Center first if you'd like. I already did, bruh. I already did. I'm on top of it. Like a cowgirl. Ha <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Can you can you hurry up and get off screen? I'm just thank you. Alright, let's see if there's anything important around here. I'm just gonna assume there isn't. So we're just gonna keep going. If there is something important, let me know in the comments so that I can come back and get it. But as for now, I'm not going to do that. We're just gonna go straight. And we're gonna do all that stuff extra, I guess, off screen. Hey, this way, should we start training? Sure, I guess. What what what's the problem? By the way, why are you holding two town maps? So you mean I did not put these in my bag, I was just carrying them in my hands the whole time? I was just training my Pokemon, throwing Pokeballs with two town maps in my hand. Oh, it's your friend's town map, is it? Your friend is the one with the Oshawa, isn't he? It just so happens you were training his Pokemon on Route 20. Well, if that's the case, you should go give him the town map first. Alright, I will. That means new threats will appear. Just follow this road. It goes to Route 20. Alright, thanks, brah. And look at this. It's a truck. But I wonder if this one has Mew under it. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Nope. Maybe I'll come back and use strength. Let me get on my bike, because it goes faster than running. Let's see, where do I go? I'm gonna go out this way. Hey, is this Youngster Joey? I believe it is. Yeah, I believe this is Youngster Joey. I don't know why I went to my Pokemon. I guess just to see the levels and stuff. I don't know. Everything is three levels apart. So that's kind of cool. Well, let's go, Joey. Ah, there it is. What do you have to say to me? What do you have to say to me, sir? You can tell how much your opponent wants to fight by looking at his herbs. I would be a little bit I can't read, apparently. Uh, excuse me. I've been sleeping all day. It's like 6 p.m. And I've been sleeping all day. I had a huge headache this morning. By the way, it's Sunday the 30th. Oh, this is Gentle to Terrell. My throat hurts. It's just terrible. It's just a bad day. Hopefully my voice doesn't sound bad. Anyway, go out to be him. We're just gonna kill. We're just gonna kill this with him. Oh, and uh, one thing about Fortress, it is bug rock in this game, so it is resisting a lot of hits. And as you can see, look how slow my emulator is going. Like, that's retarded. That is extremely, extremely not good. Behem has a whole bunch of moves for no reason. It it tried to learn heal block, but I figured nah, I won't. Yeah, you can keep it. But I probably, probably should have learned that for the competitive aspect, but I was thinking, hey, Taunt does the same exact thing as heal block, right? Yeah, it does. And it protects from status and stuff, so that's all good. And we grew to level 11. <laughs> I was EV training a little bit. Oh, wants to learn Miracle Eye. Yep, hit them dark types. Get rid of Growl, because I'm not using that anytime soon. I bet, I bet I'm going to run into like a Deoxys attack or something. I'm going to need to use Growl to survive. But, whatever. I forgot how to Growl. So, I no longer know how to Growl. So, I mean, I guess that's useful. But I guess my third eye opened, so I guess that's kind of Illuminati-ish. A Zigzagoon. Yes, I'm going to switch. I'm going to I'm gonna go out to my Pyro. And I'm most likely not going to be using Fortress on screen, just because it's it doesn't do much damage. Well, it does, I guess. The point being, I'm most likely not going to use Fortress on screen just because. So, yeah, there's that. Go, Pyro! I think I'm going to cut out... Yeah, I'm just going to cut out all the trainer battles to get some more time in. So, uh, after this battle, I'm going to cut out all the other ones. So that we can get some more stuff done each episode. Because otherwise, it's just going to be too... It's just going to be too not worth it. And I'm jolly... But yeah, I'm still using special moves. I don't know why, but they've, they've been doing it for me. 
I mean, I could I could just go for the tackles like he is and just probably Oko stuff, but I like I like Ember. You know, he got that powerful stab. And even with even coming off of Jolly, it's still stab, whereas tackle is not. And uh this this Tepic, it has thick bat, so it's taking all those fire type moves, all those ice type moves. Like Mew used Transform and transformed it to me, and every time it used Ember I took literally one damage. It was amazing. It looked like I took zero though, but I know I took one because you have to take at least one. So this is uh, the last youngster, or the last trainer that you're going to see me battle. Unless it's like a rival or an important person. And I'm just going to go on my merry way. Oh, this is a trainer. I will see you guys when I am done. Okay, so that uh, that trainer had a Pidgey, a Purloin, and a Sunkern. And uh, the Sunkern was actually faster than Behem, which I found weird unless I had Prankster, because he used Ingrain. But I don't remember if we gave Sunkern Prankster or not. But since he had a Purloin, well, she had a Purloin, I got to use Miracle Eye, so that's cool. I'm going to talk to this guy. Feel this boiling spirit. My Pokemon are going to amaze you. Alright, we'll see. That guy had a, uh, a Lillipup, a Hoot Hoot, and a Spearow. And turns out that we made Hoot Hoot flying psychic in this game, and no, I don't want to go down there. Which I almost did. That would have been quite, quite unhappy for me. Alright, so now we're here by the penis patch of grass. So, I mean, that's cool. Like, I'll... There, see? There. Boom. I, won't, I wonder what's in here. I am, I'm gonna see what's in here. Just just for the pleasure of you viewers out there. Because, um... Yeah, since I do all my catching and training stuff off screen. Okay, Luminion. That's cool. I guess. I mean, it's a water type. It, if it has storm drain, it's a water resist. I mean, not a water resist, a water immunity. But, yeah, does my team, I have a rock type and a, and a fire type, so I kind of could use a water immunity. So yeah, there's a Lumini on here. That's all we know so far. So this, this patch of grass looks like it could be promising, except for the fact that this is a Lumini on it that's extra stupid weak. But hey, whatever, it's, it's still a Pokemon, and I love all Pokemon, no matter what gen. Oh, I got the attack boost. That's so ill. Uh, we're just gonna confusion. And it has pound. How does what is that hitting me with? I'm so confused. Did it like smack me with its tail? With like its giant ears? What what happened? That's all I want to know. What what occurred? What did I get pounded with? Oh my lord. Okay, got a critical hit. Didn't even need it. Probably got some special defense EV since it, we did get the attack boost, meaning it's special defense. I, I think that's how download works. I don't know. I have to figure it out. But yeah, there's a there's a Luminion in there. So let's continue onwards. Is this the way? No, it's not. You're supposed to, oh yes, I remember. Now you're supposed to go down here. And then we have a rival battle. Uh, I don't want to battle Kirk. He's a scrub. Oh, nice. You come here to toughen up. Alright, let's see how much stronger you become. Come at me, bro. He didn't say bro, but he did say come at me. So I figured, hey, why not add bro there? Um, I think... I think, I don't know how, why do I look so clueless? My character looks so clueless. It's like, what am I doing here? Why is this in my hand? Let's see what you have. You have a Taylo. What is that? Does that? I don't know. But I think, I think, uh, I think Pyro should be able to handle this. And get some, get some nice powerful EVs off of it. Some attack and some speed EVs, you know. But mainly I just think he should be able to handle this and I don't want to... I don't want to train with him all that high. No, I'm lying. It's because I'm secretly EV training. I got that special attack boost though, so that's cool. We're gonna go to Pokemon. We're gonna we're gonna go to Pyro because he should be able to handle this. And if he can't, I'm gonna be sad. But I figure he can. Is Taylor I think Taylor's pure flying in this game too. Like I think all the normal flying type were made pure flying. So they take they actually resist fighting. Which, Tornadus was the only flying type to, like, resist flying besides Pelipper and Swana, if I believe, if I, if I am correct. Well, I guess Altaria, too. But yeah, I think that's it. I don't know. We're gonna go for a tackle, because, you know, we're jolly. So we're not losing out on attack. Oh, I went for the growl, predicting the tackle. Kirk, stop being so good. This is in-game, you don't need to, you don't need to predict. I should still probably do a lot though. I mean, I'm a Tepig. I have like base 85 attack. 
actually don't know how much attack type it has, but that seems about right. And that did nothing. I mean, I am at minus one, but still, that did nothing. I'm just gonna Ember. That should, that should kill, hopefully. I mean, it is Stab, but I am Jolly. But it is Stab, so I would like to say that cancels each other out. Yeah, I feel, I feel this should kill. This should be able to kill. Got the Ember popping off. Ah, kill it. Nope. Can I get a burn though? Nope, not even a burn. Alright, as long as you don't crit me, we should be fine. Go for focus energy again. Nope, you went for peck. Alright, let's see. Am I going to? Nope, I did not get crit. That's fine. That's perfect. That's perfection. And there goes the Taylo. I can see your Taylo, Taylo, Taylo. I don't know why I just did that. Taylo, gang. Taylo, gang. Too much music in my head. Uh, an Oshawott. I can handle this. JK, switch Pokemon. We're gonna go out to... Behem. Behem should be able to handle this. Probably get a nice special attack boost off of it. Because most of the stuff in this game has been giving me special attack boosts. Which has been just amazing. Because I can just pop them off with a confusion. And just, it just dies. Like, I'm after, after a uh, boost, I'm pretty much Specs. Like, imagine a Specs Pokemon in-game. Like, a Pokemon wearing the spectacles in-game. It's too powerful. It's just too powerful. Oshawa looks so sad. Oh, I like that song that's playing next door. Oh, no, I got an attack boost. I'm so sad. Anyway, let me let me get a... Uh... Oh, wait, I, was, I forgot, but him is dirt slow. Like, it's as slow as the grass that's around us. But that water gun did a decent amount, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I was at. I'm bad at paying attention to this stuff. Like, like on Showdown, I can pay attention to everything. But in-game and on Wi-Fi, I don't pay attention to anything. This man has an orange berry. Is that an orange berry? Yeah, I want to say it is. Yeah, no, yeah. Orange berry. Does he have gluttony then? Because he was only a half. He wasn't at... Yeah, I think he has gluttony or something. Possibly. I don't know. Torrent and gluttony. Is that what we... Yeah, I think we did give it gluttony. It has to have gluttony because it was only a half. It wasn't at 25%. So, that's cool. If that would have been a Fatire Berry, that would have been scary. If that rhymed. But we are going to take out this Oshawott. Beat Kirk. Unless he has like a potion. We're still okay. We can keep going. No. You're not. And no. You can't. Just accept defeat. I have three folks left. I have a, I have a fair, uh, what is that thing called? A Pineco just chilling. Ready, ready to take any hit. Any, any type of hit. But we got 172. We are going to gain a level from that. And let's see these stats. Behem. Let's see that speed. That's what I want to see. We got three special attack, two HP. We must have been EV, we must have faced a lot of things with special attack. EVs. Ah, that 15 speed and that 37 special. God damn. 37 special attack is so powerful. We're only on level 12. How could I have lost? I need to apologize to my partner. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go find the lily pup and rescue it and save the day. Save the day. Save the day. Not bad. <laughs> you're thinking about how to bring out your Pokemon strength. I should be able to count on you for backup. What are you doing here anyway? Huh? A town map? Yeah. It's for you, you dumb ass. Tch. She didn't have to do that. Thanks, thanks to you too. We just left, and you've already helped me out. And here comes the Lily Pup gang. I thought it was lively around here. You were having a Pokemon battle, huh? Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? I'm the owner of this ranch, and this is my wife. You should keep your Pokemon healthy and happy, right? Here, I'll give you this. And I got a Soothe Bell. That, that's not the... How does that make sense with being healthy, though? Unless you're gonna heal my Pokemon. I think she is gonna heal my Pokemon after this. That's where the healthy part goes. Nope. Just, and one for you. Why does Kirk need a Soothe Bell? That's so gay. I'm the main character. Don't give him stuff. A Soothe Bell will increase the feeling your Pokemon has towards his trainer. By the way, you didn't happen to see a Herdy around here, didn't you? Did you? Our two Herdy are always together, and this is the first time one's wandered off, so I'm a little worried. Alright. Just listen to some Lil Wayne. Then you won't have no worries. You're a little worried? Are you kidding me? The Pokemon might be lost forever. Whatever. Oh look, Roxiana, help out. Okay, fine. Good, good, 
good thing there was a please in there. God, people just assume me I'm gonna help everybody. Why did he get so mad? I think it's probably just playing somewhere in the branch. I wonder. By the way, dear, if your Pokemon get hurt, let me know. I'll make them feel better for you. Alright, go ahead. Your Pokemon look a little worn out. Rest here a minute. You won't get anywhere all tired like that. Yeah, I will. I can go anywhere in the world I want if I'm tired. Alright, there. Now we're just gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna find this hurt here. We're gonna skip everything to find the hurt here. Hey, there's a Marie. That's cool, I guess. What What are you doing, Kirk? Stop. Stop tagging along. Did you hurt here? Wander around here. Blah, 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 blah. Stop, stop acting like you know what you're doing. Oh, it's it's this janitor. I don't want to battle him right now. So, yeah, we'll just get him and find something cool in the grass, probably. Let's see. What is it? Something amazing. Reveal yourself. It's probably like a magic art. An ambipom. Not even bad. It's fast. Has some good attack. You know, get the fake out, the technician fake out going. I might come back to find you. And my character is very, very skinny. Like, eat. Please. Just for my sake. But let's keep going. And let's save this. Oh my god, Kirk. Stop slowing me down. God damn it. If it weren't for you, I'd be there. Oh, here. I'll share something with you. What is it? An experience share. Thank you. I'm going to give that to, to Panko right now. So I guess you actually are useful. And not completely useless. If you have a Pokemon who's weak, that'll let them snatch an XP. Alright, thanks, bro. Are you just gonna sit here and talk now? I, I don't, I honestly don't wanna hear you talk. Uh, still, Pokemon don't just wander off on their own. In a worst case scenario, something or other. We're gonna give, gonna go into our purse and give the experience here to, uh, Pine Club. Obvious bug, cause it's obviously a bug. I'm gonna give it the experience here. And we are now, uh, I think Pine Club should have been grass type. Cause I mean, eight, Acorns or pine cones. I mean, because I'm obviously retarded because his name is Pine Co. and I tried to call it an acorn. But acorns are from trees, and trees are closer to leaves than they are bugs. So that's my logic. Right, so that was a aluminium we just ran into, which is kind of cool, I guess. And I accidentally paused the emulator. All right, don't look at me. Ah, oh, shit, I went the wrong way. I hate when that happens. But we found an oval stone, so we can give that to Happiny and level it up at max happiness with the shell bell, and then we can evolve it. So yeah, in other words, that was completely useless. Go over here, and another battle. Okay, now that was annoying. I ran into a Luminion, and I couldn't run away, and then it used Attract, and then I still couldn't run away, and then we just heard Yarp, which apparently is a sound her ear makes. Did you hear that just now? Nope, not even at all. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'll check this area. You go deeper in the grove and look, so what you're telling me is use a bitch nigga. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Alright, so that was a Prutiana, and um, it made me think, because like when I used Ran, I was like, when I used Ran, when I ran away, it made me think about the move Pursuit, and I was like, I wonder does Pursuit work if you are running away, and if I, if I remember correctly, it does, because I remember I was playing like Silver one day. And I was running away because I didn't want to die, and then the Raticate used Pursuit and it died, so, yeah. Yarp? That cry, you found it. What a relief. Okay, I'll go call the Serena, so you stay here with it. Are you kidding me? So you just don't, you just don't leave me here with the obvious evil villain. Tch, you little pest. I'm a member of a group that strikes fear into the hearts of those who stand before it. Team Plasma. Ever heard of it? Nope, never. Really? We're the righteous group that tried to conquer Unova two years back in order to liberate Pokemon. Whatever. Fools will never understand us. Still, first I got lost chasing Herdier, and now some nosy kid shows up. All of this is your fault. Here, have a gift. <laughs> I don't understand how that happened. Like, you like, you foiled my plans. Here, happy birthday, kid, or something like that. And I get frustration, which is what I use on Spoutland, because I'm too lazy to do happiness and stuff. Okay, I'll use this opportunity to. Okay, I'll use this opportunity to retreat for now. All right, see ya, bro. Can you, can you hurry up? I'm gonna skip some frames. And there, just just take your merry sweet time, even though it's at four times speed and frame skip. Alright, so what what now? What what are you gonna talk to me? You just gonna yarp at me? Is that how it is? Yeah! Wolf. Um neither of those things are words, but okay. Can you guys hurry up as well? I do want to end this episode. And uh just just for anyone out there who's curious, this has been going on for thirty eight minutes before I edit it down and stuff. So, yeah, that's a thing that's gonna happen. Hurtier? 
What made you come all the way back here? Well, uh, anyway, I'm really grateful for, to help you two. For your help, you two. This nigga didn't do anything. I did everything. What are you talking about, you two? All of you, he gave me an experience share. He could have did that back at the farm and just stayed there. Your Pokemon might have been gone for good. Take better care of it. Ooh, giving advice to a grown man. Yo, Mr. Farmer, rancher dude, if I were you, I would just hit him. Just slough him one good time. Just <laughs> snuck him real quick. But hey, this is me. Hmm. I wonder if something happened to him. It's like he's afraid of losing Pokemon. Come on, Herdier. Everyone's waiting. Let's go home. Am I gonna get teleported back too? That's cool. It's not like I wanted to see what was all over here or anything. Not like I wanted to save in the middle of those trees. I was being sarcastic. Damn it, game! Okay, well, that's gonna be this episode because it's been 39 minutes and I gotta get some editing done and all that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and remember that you are a Roads in the Field of Daisies. Deuces.